I need a shot of beer and I'm being smoke. I won't be checking where I'm going to go. I play my guitar like I'm being cocaine. I won't smile while I'm going to sing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dean's List with Dean Jennings. I am your host, Dean Jennings. Next to me is my good friend and fellow Black Liver Society member, John Upton. Hello, people. Thanks for making the Dean's List. Thanks for having me. Um, just to give the, the folks that watch a little bit of information on you, uh, you're from Tazewell. Yes. And uh, I've, I've lived in Tennessee all my life, but I've, I don't know, are you in old Tazewell or new Tazewell? I'm in the original Tazewell. We're not old. We're just original. Oh, okay. Uh, it was evidently a battle over a railroad track, and Tazewell said, fuck a railroad. So that's where we stand in Tazewell. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, well, since we got this game game show rolling, uh, let me ask you, who, uh, who inspired you to become a comic? Um, probably, if I have to say, what inspired me was sneaking into my uncle's room, listening to Eddie Murphy's Raw. Uh, I knew then that I wanted to make people laugh. Right. Um, as bad as it sounds and as you know taboo as it is in the comedy world, the first time I seen Dane Cook, uh, I wanted to do that. I mean, right. He is funny, you know. Well, you can't. You got to give him that. I mean, I, I myself, uh, a lot of comics and Dane, if you're watching, a lot of comics down you, and there's there's a few uh, here and there that we've either worked with or been around that, that don't like you. And John and I, we actually, you know, we support the fact that you were the one that kind of inspired us to come back. Uh, for me, it was it was Andrew Dice Clay, and then I got out of it for so many years. Uh, Dane Cook, Robert Kelly, and Gary Goldman, uh, and Jay Davis, all on that Tourgasm uh, show that they had on HBO, they, uh, they inspired me to get back into it. Right. Um, and you said that Eddie Murphy inspired you. Uh, what about Eddie Murphy inspired you the most? Uh, you could probably ask a lot of comedians that question, and when you hear the audience respond to something he wrote right. to make funny, that's why I like doing comedy, the response from the crowd. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of like a drug, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. Once you get that first taste, it's like you, you know, start tweaking and you're ready for more. Yep. Um, speaking about being on stage and wanting that uh, that overall feel like that addiction, uh, we've all had our worst times on stage. Uh, what uh, what was yours? Oh, this one's easy. Um, about two years ago, I was asked to uh, do a bit or a set at a biker rally in okay. Tazewell. They were uh, raising money for the Angel Tree Kids. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so I get up there and they say, you know, you're not censored, you can say whatever you want to say. I walk out on stage and there's two seven-year-old girls in the front of the crowd. I'm done prepared to be dirty. Oh. Yeah. So I went dirty, you know, like they said, and uh, one of the girls come up to me after and told me I was disgusting. Wow. I thought it was quite funny myself, but because uh, her dad was a lead singer and he was hammered in the back, you know, yelling. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, if that's disgusting, I, that's what well, they told me. I mean, every once in a while you get a fine mix of, uh, of music and comedy blending pretty well. Yeah. Uh, maybe that just wasn't the, the, the right time. There will be no more biker rallies for me. <laughs> well, uh, if we get a chance, we will. Uh, I've got a good friend, uh, Wally Palooza. Uh, check him out on Facebook. He, uh, he does a, a get-together, kind of like local bands, local comedians. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a shot at that. That sounds good. Because um, the Black Liver Boys they uh, they're pretty tight with Wally, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, speaking of working with, um, who it, whether it's in comedy or uh, in mu music or movies, uh, if you had the opportunity to work with somebody, who would it be? Um, right now in comedy, I would love to work with Kevin Hart. He's on fire right now. Yeah. I've seen his latest special last night. and It's hard as a comedian, and you'll probably agree with me, 
watching stand-up comedy just isn't fun when you're doing it. It's not as funny when you're watching somebody else most of the time. Um, but he made me laugh, and I'm, that's hard to do. You know? I know. I've, I've done the best I can to make you laugh. Yeah. Every <laughs> once in a while, I'll get one. Uh, the Christmas carols. You you always have me there. Well, anybody that's watching this has probably seen those. Yeah. Um, well, you can find John at uh, at Upton J Comedy on Twitter. You can find him on Facebook. And soon, when the Black Liver Society website is up, you'll see him and myself on it. But right now, you've seen him on the Dean's List. Be sure to check in on the next episode to find out who made the Dean's List. I need a sign of beer and I'm being a smoke. I won't be checking where I'm going. I play my guitar like I'm being okay. I'm on a smile while I'm going to sing.